Okay, hi everyone. Uh, okay, this is a quick overview of Neo B1. Uh, we're gonna go through each parameter that you can actually change, pretty much to make a new micro light. And okay, here we go. Um, the first thing that you should know is when you open. Um, a new new program uh, you can compile and and you can upload this uh, without having to save it but if you want to make any change you're not going to be able to change this file itself you have to actually save it and it's going to tell you this is a read only so you have to resave it on your Arduino sketch folder um, so yeah any any fork that you make that's what you're doing that it's a fork uh, it's a variation uh, mm, tutorial yeah you have to save it and that's what we're gonna do now we save uh, compile before just to make sure everything is fine and it shouldn't be a problem and after you do that uh, yeah you're good to go okay so we're gonna go through the first thing that you can change is uh, the custom colors uh, it's going to be on start on 353 uh, and in this case you have two color palettes uh, so total you have uh, 66 colors plus I don't know four modes I mean four shades uh, and we're using this is one uh, I'm sorry this is zero and this is one we're using this one um, we're gonna make another tutorial just for this, but you know, just a quick overview on, on the each parameter. And the second one is color modes, which is right here. It's gonna start on 506. Um, this color mode is basically your uh, color setup for each prime and for each mode. So each mode consists in two uh, primes okay a and b and for example in this case this is gonna correspond to a master builder on mode one and this is a prime setting for a prime setting for b oh shit did i do that okay sorry guys that's supposed to be a b uh, okay live debugging Anyway, those are comments that nothing's going to change, but, um, okay, I'm sorry for that, got to change that. Okay, so anyway, uh, so in this case you have um, mode 1, okay, so you have, uh, okay, we're going to go through this later, but, um, so we were here. Uh, so let's go through each one, what uh this means on 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 the setting so two on the first number is going to correspond how many max amount of colors you have on that mode okay in this case we have only two colors um one is going to correspond to the color palette that you're using so uh in this case we're going to use the uh, first which is the second actually uh the first color palette will be zero okay and then we have uh, our first color, which uh, let me grab. I have it right here. Oh, here it is. Um, so yeah, color one and shade zero, which is pretty much full color. And then we have color thirteen and the shade third, which is color cyan, uh, cyan and 
Yeah, okay, the third shade will be the, the okay, this is shade zero, shade one, two, and three. Okay. And and then that's it, right? We don't have more colors. And the second one on prime B, we have again two colors and using color palette number one. And the first color is uh, color eight, which is guacamole. Uh, and the second shade, which is this one here, right here, that's the second shade. No, I'm sorry. Uh, so uh, okay, zero shade and the twelve again. Okay, Alright, twelve, the e blue, uh, second shade. Okay, so that's that. Um, do we want to make an art tutorial on this? I'm not, I'm not sure. I think there's not much on this, but uh, if you need it. Uh, we can go through and the next one it's going to be bundles uh, bundles start as an experiment I mean there's a lot of things that uh, I always try on micro lights and uh, you know sometimes it's just like uh, I leave it like that as a parameter and sometimes if it makes sense and you know you want to have more control you do a, a click navigation through this uh, on this case the only way to change this is here um, if you like it uh, we can add uh, click navigation on this um, at this point we have it like this um, this is one of the things like so many things that you can change on micro light and, and that's why you know finally comes the day where you know I'm be able to share the code with you and start playing with this I mean there's a lot of things that you can do uh, okay we can, we can go through this really fast the bundles uh, we have five examples here and, and the first one is uh, uh, just going through all the modes uh, you can actually technically go to a 13 mode which is zero in this case uh, which is the sleep mode uh, I didn't do it but uh, you could if you want to uh, the second example it's um, more is a scramble all the modes uh, I guess at here at the beginning so you still have 12 mode but uh, this is a little bit of scramble and basically you're gonna start on mode 2 and then jump to 4 going back to 1 third mode, 5th, 6th um, in this case yeah you just go 1, 2, 3 and uh, just on, on a cycle 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 um, here's pretty much a 1 mode that's how you do it and if um, yeah yeah I was trying to remember but yeah uh, on this case when you have only one mode uh, you're not going to go in a cycle you know on the same mode you're just gonna go from from the first mode uh, first mode that you set to uh, slip mode which is zero uh, this is the only case where uh, this is going to change and the fifth mode which is uh, from 1 to 5 is designed to uh, actually showcase uh, the next thing that we're going to check which is uh, BPM auto change uh, the BPM auto change again that's another thing it's another experiment that um, I thought that it was really cool to do it and this might be one of the changes where you know trying to make a, a, a navigation for this um, I'm not sure it will make sense but at the same time uh, yeah we, we can try something different but uh, if you want a fixed mode uh, a fixed value like 120 or I don't know you're making like weird stuff with uh, YouTube videos you know what I mean like changing the timing and uh, you try later to figure out what what the BPM is gonna be and then you know you can be very precise here and and, and do that 
um, different BPMs that you already said. It's not bad idea anyway. Okay, and the last one that obviously we need a full tutorial is for uh, Master Builder. Uh, you can have an idea here just based on this. Uh, all the parameters that you can change, but um, yeah, uh, different parameters change on, on different uh, modes, so absolutely we need a tutorial on this, and we'll, we're going to go through this, don't worry. Okay, we're going to wrap it up, and I think that's it. Uh, okay, one more thing, the last one, sorry for that, here. Um, if you change any of these numbers here on the color, uh, uh, the, the, the factory default colors, uh, change one number here, whatever, could be any number, actually, hold on, just let me remember this because I have to, actually has to be from from 1 to 254 okay can be 0 can be 255 so yeah any number from 1 to 254 I'll, I'll, I'll change that I'm gonna add that uh, comment later uh, what, gonna, what you're doing here is uh, you're forcing the program to factory default everything based on what's on on, on the program uh, because even if you uh, flash a new program to the chip, you're not going to delete uh, the EEPROM memory. So you might have like the old uh, uh, factory default uh, colors. So in this way, what you're doing is just uh, forcing the program to do a factory default. So yeah, anytime you do any change here, remember change this value to whatever yeah but it has to be different to the last um, value that you did okay now yep that's it um, okay thank you for watching